Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 21 of my Let's Platinum Rise of the Tomb Raider series. We're doing yet another score attack, that's all we're doing at the moment now, that's all we should have left. Uh, Siberian Wilderness we are doing this time. Uh, same as last time, we're just going to go down to lead awards, we're going to pick the top one, uh, no the second one, the top one is quite obviously hacked or fake or something, I don't know what's going on there. But we're just going to copy this guy's cards again. We're going to, uh, who is this, Psycho Death. We're going to just press X, play, and pay the 2,000 to play with his cards, his setup. And that's all we're going to do. So this one has a little more combat, not much more than the previous one. But uh, I'm going to take this route to the right-hand side first. It is tempting to just run down the middle like you'd normally would. But we need to save that for later on. Because uh, once you pick up these pips, these wisps, they're gone forever. So we need to use that middle path. Uh, on the way down. Same again, we just need to hit roughly 99. Um, the score for this one is 220,000 that we need to hit. And um, we have five cards with a 100% bonus on uh, each of them, so that's a 500% bonus we're going to be going with, uh, so which means we only need to score 44,000, if my maths is correct. Let me know if it's wrong. <laughs> so that is really low, really low <laughs> for what we actually need to hit we're going to easily do that uh, the the cards we're actually using are one life to live uh, which means when you die it ends the run uh, first aid which is no health regeneration you have to use health packs that's fine uh, grip this is the most important one to remember if you're using the same ones as I am uh, you need to hold square to hang from ledges so whenever you're holding on to anything uh, tree branch ledge whatever you need to hold square all the time Otherwise, you'll just drop again. Um, no leftovers, which is no ammo boxes. And um, armor plated, which is double armor for every enemy. Again, not a problem. We'll just be getting uh, three headshots and moving on. Uh, yeah, so I will. I do manage to chain up to 99 again pretty much right until the end. And then there's a bit of a, a mistake at the end. Uh, I lose it, but I mean it's completely fine. We're only going for the platinum. We only need bare minimum. I'm not trying to get a top score here or anything. We're just trying to get just enough to get the gold and move on. So uh, yeah. Once this has happened with the bear, ignore the wisps and just go for the the bush here. We're making our first uh, health pack here, basically, uh, like you did in the story. This bush here, and then grab these uh, rags up here and then make the um, or not make it but just use the healing ability and uh, that's going to stop the clock again, remember it does stop when there's uh, animations and cutscenes and things and now we're going to use the wisps to run back because if we'd have left it there'd be nothing there and it's quite a, a decent climb so now I'm going to be running up and I'm holding square the whole time uh, so yeah, if you're going to have to get used to it. The only problem with this one is that card. Just remember, hold square and you'll be fine. Hold square, follow my path. And uh, yeah, nothing difficult about this one. I'm just going to take a slight detour up here. Not necessary really, but there's a... Might as well just get that multiplier up a bit. Get that bit of extra score while we can. Again, hold square the whole time. Until we get to the top. Uh, we're shooting these lanterns. There were other lanterns. You will have seen them when I was down at the bottom. Um, I've left specific things for specific reasons as we move around. Because we do have to move around here again. So I'm just going to go grab this one. Run, run past the camp to the other side. Getting these wisps, wisps as we go. Not going to hit as many collectibles this time. There's not really any need for it. Because the score's getting up there already. So saving these until later on is a, a good idea. You see this kind of red ones in a minute in a the distance. They seem to be worth more as well. So here are the two other mushrooms. And then I'm going to grab this wisp. There's a cache here, so I'm just going to get that. And then the opposite side of these trees is a crate. You need to open this up because it's got rags in it. We need those for the arrows. So... Uh, that's where we're going to head now, basically back up to camp. Grab these sticks here as well, 
case you need to craft arrows. But we're just going to be killing the bear. That will end as soon as we kill the bear. That will end this run. That is the end. Another cache here. You can see these two lanterns behind me. The multiplier is higher now. So these will be worth uh, worth more. There we go. Uh, yeah, just a final run up to the... Uh, up to the camp here. Uh, get that one. I'm just opening. There's a, a, a log or a, a rotten tree. I open that as the cutscene kicks in. There's two uh, instances of mushrooms or fungus. So it's a good one to hit just before the cutscene kicks in. And then once it does, you'll be here. You'll, re you'll recognize all of this. You've done it. It's just a case of getting the right order. So huge score here for these two. So what does he give us first? We're not going to see it. We didn't see the score. <laughs> it's about three, three and a half thousand for one of these guys now. So we have to wait for this second one. Get the stealth kill on him. You should be all right with your crescent on the side there, on the left hand side, just in time there. So what do we get from that one? There, I missed it again. An amount of thousand, <laughs> but we're well, well above now. I think it was almost ten thousand, maybe. We're well above now. So we can kind of relax. The score will do its thing. Uh, yeah, this I've tried this a few times, but it ne she never seems to grab onto that branch. So it doesn't matter. If you can, just carry along the tops. There's a you can slide down and get a load of wisps if you want. But yeah, don't worry about uh, making that drop. You can see, just go along the top, grab those wisps. But you'd end up in this camp anyway. So there's three guys here. One. That's not going to work. Going to lose it. Two. Wow, that was close. I would ideally not have him see me. But uh, that's not a problem. So the only reason I mess up now is uh, somebody comes from the left and uh, manages to shoot me. So that breaks my... Um, my streak, obviously I take a little bit of damage, you do, do lose a bit of score when you get damaged, but at this point now, all I need is a times two, um, and I'd be good, and we've got times five, so the score's going to be massive again, and that's all that counts really. So I just get these few extra bits, it's not really worth it now, because when you fight the bear, you can fight it from a distance like you probably should. Or you can run around its cave grabbing things while you're doing it so you don't lose your score. Just kill it. If your score's high like mine is right now, you'll be fine. It's a case of just kill this thing and then uh, you're done. This That's the end of this level. As soon as it dies, it finishes. So a nice quick one. The next video is going to be a, a tomb and it's going to be a quick one. But I will just do a second run of it to get an independent trophy. There we go, he's down. Take a little bit of damage there from the poison again, lose a bit of score. Doesn't matter. But there we go. As soon as it's dead, it uh, finishes the level. 662,000. Not bad. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.